All right, everyone. So in this uh, algorithm a day series, we'll be talking about the Levenstein distance algorithm. I hope I'm pronouncing this right, and Mr. Levenstein is not complaining. Well, the let's look at the equation to start off. Whoa! Yes, that's how it looks like. And so, what this algorithm is used for? Well, it's used to calculate the distance between two, uh, say, cat uh, strings or two words. See how close they are, and how you do that? Well. You just find the number of edits that you have to do to say string A in order to get to string B. So let's say I have a string say cat and then I have a string fat which applies to the cat. Yeah. So in order for me to get from cat to fat I need to replace C with F and that means I need to do only one edit. So that means I have a distance of one. Right. So I'm just in replacing F with C. That's all. And so how does this equation then come into play, you might be asking. Well, so a minimum of ij equals zero means that one of the string is, I think, empty. And so you just re return the length of the um, one of the string, whichever is the maximum. And then over here, you have these three edit functions. The first function is right here. This one is the removal of a character from a string, this one is the insertion, and this one right here is the substitution. If you have to replace C with F. And this right here is the substitution cost. And I think if A and B are equal, then the cost is zero because it's not there's no penalty. But if they're not equal, then the cost is equal to one. Alright, so now we're just going to look at uh, a simple execution of this thing in Act. Okay, so what I have here is a table, and what you do is you initialize your table to all zeros. So all these cells will be initialized to zero, and just for fun, I'll come over here and I'll write the word cat, and then I'll write the word fat. Cat is fat. All right, and then what you do is you initialize, say, this column to the prefix length. In this case, it'll be one, two, three, and then same for this row, be one, two, three. And what that means is, if I have fat, then I can the prefixes I can have is f, f a, f a t, f a t, like that. All right. So now let's see how we can use this algorithm and find the distances. These distances distances will be in this table and each cell represents a distance. The final distance you get will be in this uh, last row. So in this last cell. Alright, so we're just going to start here and I'll just change this and then the, let's say we are here and then we are here. Okay, so this is I and this is J and this I and J is this I and J right here in this formula. So when i is 1 and when j is also 1 and if I look at my uh, formula over here that means i minus 1 j will be equal to 0 1. So I just look at 0 and 1 this is 1. So let's write this minimum function and then you have to add a 1 to it you can see that. So we have 0 1 that's 1 1 plus 1 is 2 Alright, so then we're going to go to the next one, which is, which will be 1, whoa, which will be 1 and then 0. So then I'm going to say 1 and 0, that's 1, so we will add a 1, that's 2. Finally, we'll look at the third one, which will be 0 and 0. So 0 and 0 is 0, and since f is not equal to c, that means the cost is 1, so it will be 1. And then the minimum, this is 1, so we'll return 1. And that's how it is and you just go and calculate all these. Now I'm just going to fast forward. Alright, so that's our value and then we're going to see if we get the same in code. Alright, so we're here in Visual Studio and we're going to actually start coding this thing. What I have just the main function and all it has is a comment, nothing else. And then I have a class, Levenstein, with a run method like uh, we always do and we'll be calling this passing in our strings. This will return us the distance between the two strings. So to get started, we need to define the table uh, that I talked about before, and we're just going to use a 2D array to do that for us. 
and it will be new int a.len plus one. We need to go one over the length of the strings for the array. And because the way we are gonna define these prefixes, uh, you have to make sure it's the length plus one. Then we're gonna set the prefixes, set prefixes. So I'm just going to go and i is equal to 1, i is less than a dot length plus 1, i plus plus. And then here we will say d 0 to i. What I'm doing here is I'm setting this right here. And then after that I'm going to do set this over here. And then I'll say i j is equal to one. J is less than b dot length plus one. J plus plus. And then we'll say d. Now it'll be zero j equal to j. All right. So that I'll take care of that. Now there was also a substitution cost that we need to talk about, and that's the substitution cost right here. And as I said, if they're equal, it's zero. Otherwise, it's one. So then I'll just say substitution cost is equal to zero. We'll just say it's zero initially, meaning the two characters are equal and there's no cost to replace them. All right, so now we're just going to loop over the uh, this table and set the cells uh, for the distances. So I'll say j is equal to one. J is less than b dot length plus one. J plus plus. And then I'll just do my inner loop equal to 1 i is less than a dot length plus 1 i plus plus all right so here we will see is uh, what we need to do is if the two characters are equal then we set the substitution cost to 0 so I'll say if a and then we'll say if i minus 1 is equal to b j minus 1 then we say substitution cost is 0 Otherwise, it's going to cost us to replace those two um, characters. And finally, we need to store the distance. And we can simply just do ij. And we have to use this uh, minimum function right here that we see in the formula. So we need to do something similar. Now, you can't do a minimum on three values. So we just have to use it twice like so. So I'll say mat.min right and I'll do mat.min again and this minimum is against the i minus 1 which is the substitution function j minus 1 and let's add the substitution cost right so this cost right here we're just adding that and then what I'll do over here is I'll just say d now this is the removal, so it will be i minus 1 and then it will be j Then we add a 1 and then this is the a uh, insertion. So this will be i and then j minus 1 and we add a 1. So with that said, what we are going to do at the end, and the end we are just going to return the um, um, value which is stored at the very very last cell. And we'll just say d to a dot length minus one and we'll say b dot length minus one okay let's compile make sure no errors no errors and i'm just going to come here and just do a simple test program so we'll say distance is equal to levenstein that run i'm going to pass in cat i'm going to pass in fat and we'll just console this right line and let's see this so I should only get one because we only need to replace C with F or F with C and I do get one that's amazing alright let's take something else let's say I do I don't know make then uh, makes so that's also one and then how about 
I'll say cake and then I'll say mix let's see what does that give us I'll give us two because M has to be replaced with C and then I have to drop S from this one so that's two right here now let's write a simple spell check kind of program I prepared that we can use and um, see how you know it can help us or if it actually will help us so I'll just get rid of this I'll get rid of this and what I'll do is I'll prepare a simple dictionary for myself first so a dictionary in, in real life you can have a huge dictionary and then we're gonna say user input and let's say the user input is somebody has bad spelling like I do and instead of appears we write appears like that alright so then we're gonna have a list of suggestions suggestions and we will do new list we're going to define that so all these suggestions they're gonna go into the, uh, this list so what we also need is a tolerance and I'm gonna set that to two tolerance means uh, so if the distance is less than or equal to tolerance then we're gonna add it to the suggestion list otherwise we we're not gonna bother with that it doesn't really make any sense alright so now let's uh, go through our dictionary and we will say for each word in dictionary right and then here we call our mr. Levenstein run function and we're gonna pass in the user input and we're gonna pass in the word from our dictionary then we will say if the distance is less than or equal to the tolerance then what you do is you add it to our suggestions list right and it'll be like that we'll just add it here and once that is all done then finally we can just come over here and we can say console.write line and we will say let's use this we'll say user input and we will say user input and then we're gonna see if suggestions that count is greater than zero means if we got any suggestions then we're gonna spit them out right here so we will say console dot right line and let's just say did you mean like we know what we're doing Right, and then I'll just say for E let's go through our suggestions and we'll say word in suggestions and let's just write these suggestions right and I'll just do word let's give it some space and at the end we'll just do a new line just to tidy things up alright so let's make sure no errors no errors let's see what happens alright so the user input was appears and it says oh did you mean appears that's pretty cool let's try something else right so let's say I'm just gonna say Mary let's see what does it do oh nice so it actually is saying oh did you mean Mary that's pretty cool it actually said cap too no, that's that doesn't make any sense. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay, so how about do 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 slept? How about that? Did you mean cap? Yeah, that makes more sense. So there you go. That's your uh, Levenstein algorithm and how you can uh, do spell check and other stuff. I'll be it for now. Bye.